Hello. Hi. Welcome to Intertwined Stitches. This is episode 20. Today is January 31st, the last day of January. I cannot believe that. January flew by. And the first day of the Chinese New Year. Yes, today is the Chinese New Year. So, gung hei fat choi. <laughs> I'm sure I butcher the saying of that, but that means Happy New Year. Um, I am Lakshmi, also known as Knitter by Nature. And I'm Stephanie, also known as XCO Mom. Uh, yeah. So how was your week? Um, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Anything didn't do much. Just working on hats, mostly. I've been in this, um, hat craze. It's because so, it's so bloody cold outside. I you know. need it. I've been just thinking about warm things to cuddle up in, and I've been queuing hats, and I've been queuing sweaters, and just thinking about warm, cozy things. Yesterday I went to get Xavier from skiing, and I did not take a hat. And I'm like, oh, I'll be oh. fine. My hair was in a ponytail. I didn't feel like messing with it. And then we get there, and I'm like, man, I wish I would have put a hat on. No doubt. It was like 26 degrees, but with the wind chill, I think it, the real feel or whatever was 16. Mm -hmm. And it was freezing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool to be out there with yeah. a hat on. <laughs> I had my fingerless gloves on, though, that you gave, made me. So that was, part of me was warm. And I had my trillion on. Anyways, um, our week has been a little crazy. My husband and work and whatnot. Tonight will be the first night this whole week, actually, that he is going to be home at his regular time and spending time with the boys. So that's always a big... Uh, yeah, the boys fine. get all antsy and they're already not feeling well. We have a cold running through our house and... It's just been a very long week. Yeah, me too. Excuse my voice today if it sounds scratchy. I'm just getting over a cold, too. Those darn kids passing it around the school and bringing it home. That's right. Anyways, so you have any finished outfits? I have my hat that I'm wearing. Yay! It's the Rosebud by Jared Flood of Brooklyn Tweed. Um, this is Knit Picks Bravo Worsted. their acrylic. And I love how nice and squishy it is. There's going to be lots of Brava on the show today. <laughs> all Brava, all the time. I was even thinking that I might um, knit my son a log cabin blanket out of the Brava. Because I that enjoy would be awesome. working with it so much. And this is garter stitch, so this, it would feel like this squishy, soft, and mm -hmm. nice and cuddly and warm. So it's got one big cable going up and two, one, two cables that flank it on either side. And... The, it decreased seamlessly. Nice. So, um, you know, with the last hat I made with the decreases for the cable, she just switched the pattern to a ladder stitch instead of the cable. She didn't continue the, the cable up to the top. Right. And I like that this did this. I like how it, um, it lines up with the ribbing at the bottom. Right. Because that was your biggest complaint with the last one. Yeah. So, um, I love it. Now, do you knit the pearl in the round, or do you... Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know I, some people don't. Yeah, I think that would be a little too tricky for me. I don't mind purling that all that much. Mm. So, um, I'm kind of a slow knitter, so my knitting is just as slow as my purling. Like, it, it doesn't go any faster when I'm knitting, I don't think. <laughs> um, I have a finished object, and it is yeah. also in Brava, and... It is awesome. It's chunky. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is from <laughs> the Huge and Huggable Mochi Mochi. Yeah, Mochi Mochi book by Anna Herichnevik. I'm sorry if I butchered the name. And my husband gave me the book for Christmas, and I was so excited. And my in-laws, as you guys know, gave me a g gift card to nitpicks, and I got the yarn to make him. Isn't he so cute? He <laughs> Look is. at all the legs. <laughs> he's so fun. <laughs> um, he's for me. He's so squishy. He would work for a travel pillow. He would. <laughs> Not quite. Almost. <laughs> but he, my son was like, who are you making that for? And I'm like, oh, this is mommy's. This is mommy's. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's done. He was so much fun to make. There is, if you decide to knit it, there is an error in the book um, about his shell. 
<laughs> my two-year-old's upstairs yelling, and I'm not sure why. I think it's because they're watching Despicable Me, and he's getting into the movie. Hopefully that's why. <laughs> so anyways, I finished him right before we started recording. We actually had to wait for me to finish, because <laughs> I just wanted to show him off. And look at all his little legs. He just came to life a yes. few minutes ago. Isn't he so cute? In the book, they have him all styled, like, in a lounge chair, sipping on a soda. <laughs> So, he's done. He's so sweet. And the Brava Bulky is my favorite Brava because it is so ridiculously smushy. Mm. Like, in the skein, it's just... I haven't tried the Bulky. It's so nice. I have a skein left... Oh, no, he ran away. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a skein left over of each because it called for more yardage than I ended up using. Probably because it also calls to use a size 10.5 needle, but uh, I didn't have a 10.5 DPN. I only had a 9, so that's what I knit him in, and he's still huge. But it's so soft and so squishy. Like, it's, it's even nice. squishier than my pashmina, my Mad Tosh pashmina. It's just so squishy. And he is out of the Dove Heather and the cornflower colorway, but it ran away, so I can't show you that. But yeah, it's so much fun. He's so cute. He already rolled under the table. I can't get him. <laughs> so that was my finished object for the week. Yay! I um, I am soon to be finished with this hat I'm working on. I'm almost at the crown decreases. This is the black tea hat by. Yeah, Coleman. It's really pretty. And um, what I like about it, it has this one cable that's different that goes up the front or the side, whichever way you wear it, and then um, this other cable that goes all the way around. And th these cables line up. Um, this cable goes all the way down to the brim. I love that. Mm -hmm. And the other cables line up with the, the ribbing, which I like. And um, the only thing I'm concerned about right now is running out of yarn. So She's I'm playing yarn chicken. Yeah, I'm at the crown decreases, so hopefully it will. You're using the <laughs> cake um, stitch workers. They're so cute. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> so and I'm also using my new Caspian 16 inch um, needles. Is it fixed? Fixed circular. Yeah. Nice. And then I'll probably do magic loop for the top. Nice. And I did go up a needle size for this because it said the finished measurement would be 18 inches to stretch to a, fit a 20 inch head. And my head is 22 inches. Yeah, that's a little small. So I just went up a needle size for both the brim and the body. So size 6, which is a 4.0 millimeter, and size 8, which is a 5.0 millimeter. Very pretty. I really like that hat. I've never seen a cable like this one. Yeah, it's called a fishtail cable. Oh, okay. And I started uh, actually a new technique I learned from a craftsy class. I When I started getting into these cabled hats, I signed up for the Explorations and Cables class yes. from Craftsy. And I did learn a trick that I will share with, uh, with all of you. Mm -hmm. It's called the Lazy Pearl. Mm -hmm. So when, um, when you're going from a knit stitch to a purl stitch, sometimes that knit stitch has a little bit extra slack. Right. So instead of knitting that first purl stitch regular, um, wrap the yarn the other way when you're purling it, and the next time you come around to it, it will be a twisted stitch, so just treat it as a twisted stitch in the, into the back loop. Nice. Or purl. And that'll make it nice and tight. And it's tightened it up a lot. Um, nice. I don't see any ladders, and I have had problems with having ladders between my knits and purls right. before. I even put down a project because it was bothering me so much, so maybe this trick will help in all of my knitting. It's very clever. Yeah. <clears throat> what else have you been working on? Um, I've been working on the same thing you're working on. Oh, well, you want to share it together? Sure. <laughs> Hers is the bright, bright version, and mine is the muted pastel So version. I've been working, um, I pulled out my Hue Shift Afghan. It's by Karen Demelaire Lawrence from Nipix, and, um, I was looking at the, my project page this morning to see when I started it, and I started it in November of 2012. <laughs> so I put this down for oh, since yeah. February last year. Yeah, because you were on working it. on it when we, f we first started. When we first met. Together. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was working on it, and I put down, I couldn't believe it's like February again. 
and I haven't been working on it and I just picked it up and I had to the reason I put it down is I had knit a whole row in the wrong colors when I started my third um, section so I had to rip out four blocks of knitting and, and I got three more done so um, I made progress I'm always back almost back to where do you want I to show your I, other panels yeah so I'll show how it's coming when you, you hold one up sure and you oh. had a phone call. Okay, baby. That's, thank you. Thank you very much. I heard it. Okay, it was just daddy. Not a big deal. <laughs> Sorry. It's so important. Yes. For him, everything yeah. that happens is important. So this is one side. Am I holding it? Um, I'll hold, hold it up with the way. yellow corner. There we go. The yellow corner up here. Oh, up here. <laughs> I should have seamed it, but um, that's why I knit them out of order so I could seam them and work on um, weaving the yarn ends in. Yeah, I see you've got some of your ends woven in some on this of one. Them. I have not. I should be weaving them in as I go, but I'm not. Isn't it gorgeous? It is. I it's love really it. pretty. It's, it's such short. a fun project. It's so easy. I'm glad I picked it up again. I'm really liking mine. Mine is definitely like the toned down version of that. And when you get the pattern, you get three colorways to choose mm -hmm. from. See, whenever I did, I got the kit, and this is just what came with the kit. But I've done two. I'm almost done with my second square this week. And what size needles are you using? I am using, <laughs> sorry, a six. It calls for a five. I'm using a five. That, that's why yours looks a little bit bigger than mine. I thought that my my garter was just way too dense whenever I, I did the first one on a five and I didn't like it and I ripped it out. So yeah. I like it. I'm not nearly as far as Lakshmi. <laughs> but <laughs> I started I'm working a long it. time ago. So there's that. Very cool. You're almost done with that one square. Yeah, I'm yeah. Doing the final decreases. What else have you worked on? Um that's it, except for spinning. Okay, I have, I'm sorry, if sushi's back walking across the table bothers you, I really apologize, but there's nothing we can do. I, we've tried locking the door, and she still somehow manages to open it. I have also been working on my Measure and Love hat by Megan Williams of the Stockinette Zombie fame, out of my Mad Tosh <laughs> page <laughs> Sorry, she's attacking my ball of yarn. I'm licking it. She's such Let's a weirdo. Taste it. She's a freak. She's a freak kitty. So there's that. I don't have a whole lot done on it. I've got my first, my first repeat of the lace pattern in there done. I love the color. Madeline it Tosh does a great so job. Pretty. She's like a color evil genius. <laughs> Her is to get us to spend all of our monies. I know. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Stop chewing on the pashmina. Not okay. So there's that. And this is in the spectrum colorway. And I did get Gage with a size 7 needle and she calls for a 5. That's how tightly I knit. <laughs> but like you said, the they're not quite cables, they're a slip stitch detail, and it does go all the way down to the brim. That's nice. And I really like it. Good catch, Sush. <laughs> <laughs> she just knocked off a skate yarn and caught it on its way down. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this pattern. I'm trying to take my time with it because it is my pashmina, and I'm like, once it's gone, yeah, it's gone. Enjoy it. But also, I, for the life of me, cannot memorize this pattern for the... I just can't... It's not... You're doing a good job with it. I did mess up once for some reason, and I had to do a... I should have done a make one increase, but I did a knit front back, and so I've got to... Okay. It's got a... You could probably... It's got a friend. <laughs> you could that down if you wanted to. <laughs> Theoretically, I could. <laughs> That's something I forgot to talk about with my hat. I made a couple mistakes with my hat, with the cable uh -huh. crossing. And what I did is I actually ripped down half of the cable instead of knitting, unknitting, like tinking back uh -huh. five rows. Yeah. Um, I just ripped down five rows of the half of the cable, recrossed it the other direction. 
That makes me anxious just thinking about back it. Up. But it, it worked, and it was so much easier right. than thinking back. Well, that was good. So much less frustrating. So I'm I did that in it. two places, <laughs> and it looks perfect now, yeah, so it I does. can't complain. It's an excellent hat. It's going to be nice. Is it supposed to be a slouchy one? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I've been making lots of slouchy ones lately. That's Owen. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. The door is it open. Like Can you shut that? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know how much that's going to muffle it, but yeah. Uh, you want to show your spinning? Um, I'll show part of it because the other so part. So she just knocked the other part down. Fell down. But um, I finished my tea, toast, and cake colorway from Fab Just Fibers. This is Merino. Um, there's, hold it up close so you can see, and I'll take it's it apart. Great. I got 275 yards of what looks to be like a spore to DK weight. Now, did and you Navajo apply this? I Navajo applied it. So, in, in the beginning, I noticed I was spinning. Um, when I started applying it, I noticed that it was very consistent um, towards the end of my spinning. At the beginning, it was less consistent, and I, I even had, like, right. really thin spots. I was, I think I was spinning it a lot thinner when mm. I started. Um, so, it's got... It's, it's like orange and pink and purple and they all applied together and I just love it's how it's it almost like a tonal because they are all so very similar in hue yeah like and the purple blended. pops out but the pink and the orange almost they just all blend together and in the beginning too I had some problem with over spinning like there's some parts um, that are kinked up a little bit with those little corkscrew mm -hmm. kinks but only towards the beginning so I not much of that at all so I love it it came out really nice and I think what I'm gonna do is knit a sock head hat out of it that'd be pretty the last sock head hat I knit I was hand spun and I gave it away yeah. but <laughs> I had so much fun just um, watching the hand spun stripe and the colors emerge and seeing yeah. like the different blends of the colors like when the pink goes over the purple or the orange goes over the purple right. and um, beautiful so I think that's gonna be a lot of fun I haven't washed or thwacked it yet so it's still a little energized energized but not too bad um I have been spinning on my loop bat but I haven't spun a whole lot I've got maybe half an ounce on the bobbin and as everyone knows loop bats go on for infinity <laughs> especially if you spin them thin yeah i'm trying to but it's coming out i'm going to navajo ply it i'm guessing with the three ply it'll probably be a dk okay because right now it's like a fingering so okay but just fine with me i don't need it any thinner than that i don't tend to like to knit with really skinny yarns because <laughs> it takes me forever well i just started um my uh Friends in Fiber Bordeaux Mind Fusion bump, and I'm spinning it like lace weight, wow. so that when I apply it, it'll be like fingering weight. Right, right. I'm gonna Navajo apply. Are you I, gonna try and make socks out of it? I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it yet. Sometimes I don't really have an idea until after it's finished. Right, it just comes to you. Yeah, yeah. I I very rarely knit with my hand spun. I have um, two skeins that my most recent finished um, yarn, the uh, Mohegan Bluff is the colorway, but I cannot think of who made the yarn, or who made the fiber, but I've had it sitting out with some brown yarn that I got at Vogue Knitting Live a couple years ago, and I really want to make something with those two striping, and I was going to make a sweater vest for Jeff out of it, because it was plenty of yardage, but the color of the blue and the brown together... I think that it would make it very limited in what he could wear it with, okay. and where he could wear it to, but he did ask for a hand spun. I was going to make him a sweater vest, and he's like, are you going to make me a hand spun sweater vest? And I'm like, <laughs> no. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know, he does deserve it. He does support my yarn habit. He doesn't fuss too much when I get packages in the mail, and uh, I really would like to make him one, but it's twice the work. Yeah. <laughs> But it could be fun. And I think he, he does understand how much work goes into it, and he does appreciate that. Yeah. Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, how often is he going to actually wear a sweater vest? He's not really a sweater vest kind of guy. Hmm. I don't know. Have you found a pattern that you like? He did. I let him peruse the Ravelry for it, and he found one that had cables in it. But 
it's kind of like the cables, the main cable in that. So it's not real cable-y, but it is. And he liked it. But I feel like in hand spun, that would be too much. Okay. You know what I What did I just do? Too much texture. Yeah. And, or, you know, unless I do an absolute solid color. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have lots of other things that I want to knit, too. <laughs> so my... Um, I got out, oh, I meant to bring it down, I got out my middle sun sweater that I botched, my sweater failure that doesn't fit over his head, and it's too small for him, and it's probably too small for Owen at this point, too, and so I asked him, because I feel bad that he, he got to wear it like once, yeah. I forced it over his head, <laughs> <laughs> and he got to wear it once, and, um, and it looked small on him when he was wearing it, like he was about to outgrow it. Yeah. And so it's been a year since that. And I asked him, what color sweater do you want if mommy made you another sweater? And he said purple. And of course his brothers were both standing right there whenever I asked him. So then Xavier's like, I want green and white. And Owen's like, blue! <laughs> <laughs> so Xavier and I went to the store this past weekend. And he picked the yarn for his sweater. Because we were at the store and they had it. So I did. <laughs> and he picked the Heartland yarn that I just finished that baby sweater in. Oop, just throwing you skeins of yarn. He picked the King's Canyon Green. Yeah, that's pretty. And the Acadia, it's like a cream off-white. I'm gonna have to get some of that. And it, it's nice. It's pretty cheap too. And he picked a pattern that he wants. I believe it's called Nate's hoodie, I want to say, and it's, it looks like, um, you know how a lot of times I wear a t-shirt with a long sleeve shirt under it? Mm -hmm. It It looks like that. It's a solid color, most people did variegated for like the short sleeve part, and then it has longer sleeves that come out, and he wants, he wants the short sleeve part to be the green and white striped, and then he wants the sleeves to be green. Oh, okay. That would be so, so cool. We got that, and then I got Carson's purple. And it is Royale, and it's it's got like yeah, a it's like a maroon purple, ready nice. twist in it. Very masculine. It's yeah. not like a girly purple. No, it's definitely not a girly purple. And he liked it so. And then I'm just going to use the rest of the blue, which is the Olympic, very fitting uh, colorway for Owens. So big old bag full of Heartland. I also got. We're just moving on to feeding this stash. Um, I also got a uh, package from Knit Picks because I needed some yarn for a swap. Because her favorite color was not one of my favorite colors, so I had to buy some. Darn. <laughs> and so I bought myself a skein of the Dishy in the Thistle Multicolor. It's really pretty. I like the colors. And I've never worked with it before. It it's it says worsted, but that's really thin for a worsted, isn't it? Oh, it's a lot th thinner than like um, what I'm used to, like right, the sugar like, and cream. Yeah, it's very thin. Maybe it blooms whenever you wash it or whatnot, but I like it. It's very dense, like hardcore. It's pretty though. We'll see. Um, yeah. And I would show the other ones, but I'm not going to because it's a okay. surprise. And she is sitting on top of her Yeah, I'll get project. it. <laughs> she might have to walk across the screen a couple more times now that I'm taking her comfy spot. But I've been working on my my cross stitch. I now I don't I don't think I had Snow White done last week, did I? I don't think so. So there's that. So cute. Ugh. Let's see if I can get a little closer. There we go. And so you can see the Snow White, the mirror. One of the dwarves, some soap, and some apples. Most of some apples. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I like it a lot. I did her eyes and they were X's. <laughs> I'm like, she looks like she's dead. <laughs> so then I stitched over the top and the bottom uh, to make it so that she's mm -hmm. more alive. Yeah. <laughs> Not X's for eyes. But I'm really enjoying it. Tomorrow, um, February's will come out and I'm excited to see what's coming. Yeah. So I need to work on this tonight <laughs> to get more done before I jump into February. It's really cute. I'm really loving it. I used a metallic thread for the mirror so that it was shiny because everyone else has a sparkly cloth and I don't. 
wah, wah. <laughs> but it was kind of a pain in the butt to work with I used um sorry so she sees something and I was distracted too <laughs> um I used it's just sewing thread that was metallic and it was kind of a pain in the butt to use but I think the end result was worth it yeah it really like glistens and glows so there's that it's really fun lots and lots of people are doing it on Instagram and I love it every time I see it I wasn't going to do it because I'm like oh, I don't need another hobby I've got so many already and I'm already I already feel like I'm stretching my time really thin with each of them but every time I saw it I just couldn't help it I had I had to have it it was so cute yeah <laughs> and I'm really excited about it um and, and my husband likes it I'm like so what part should I work on next and he's like uh the apples I'm like, okay, because I got done with the the mirror, and I'm like, okay, where do I go next? There's a laundry basket, there's a clothesline, there's another dwarf. He's like, oh, I want to see the apples. And he's really enjoying it, watching it too, so that's fun. And my boys think, it's, oh, mommy, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's great. We've got the sweater knit along. I worked on my sweater a little bit, but I only did like three or four rows, so I didn't bring it. But, um... Um, it's been great to see um, progress. There's been I four or five. There, there are a few finished sweaters. Yeah, very maybe nice. even more than that. Um, yeah, in the finished object thread. So I'm my, <laughs> I have to mention it because it was just too funny. Um, Stephanie Lone Star Knits. Lone Star Knitter. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Um, she finished a pink sweater for her daughter and she tried to take a picture of it with her daughter wearing it and her <laughs> face was like, oh, why do I have to do this? It was just so that. funny. It's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, kids. Those are the pictures you have to save forever and tease them about. <laughs> right. I have pictures of all of my boys screaming, crying when they were like wee babies just to show them like having a baby is not all fun and laughing. <laughs> I don't even think I got a picture of my son in the last sweater I made him. I made him a um, a wonderful wallaby with a little skull on the pocket, mm -hmm. which he wears a lot, but he just finally destroyed it because he chews on all of his clothes. Mm -hmm. He chewed the collar on the, the edge of the hood right off. <laughs> You're probably like, what is she doing? So she's staring <laughs> at something over here, and I was worried it was a spider, so I was just checking. <laughs> Anyways, it's not. Not that I could see anyways. So that was a little disappointing, and it makes me think twice about knitting him another yeah. sweater, but I am. Of course, because you're <laughs> his mom. Um, yeah, I tried to do the... I was going to do the Wonderful Wallaby for Owen, but that's all. Uh, you have to buy it and print at, like, your LYS, and I was like... Mm. Oh, you can borrow mine. I have the pattern. Okay. I bought the Comfy Cozy for his. Comfy Cozy? I think that's what it's called. Okay. It's cute. That would be cute. It's got, um, like, two rows of buttons that go up here, so it's got, like, a flap. Okay. Like, like the old-timey jammy butt flap. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the pattern I'm going to knit for him. Uh, yeah, so we've got several entries, and it's going through the end of end of March. Yeah, and I've, I've seen other podcasters are doing, have a similar yes. idea of sweater knit-alongs, but ours is much more relaxed. Yes. <laughs> um, you can start any, um... You can enter any project that you've started previously as long as you've finished it within this time frame and it can be a baby sweater or an adult sweater or a short sleeve or a shrug, whatever. Yeah. And um, we're not too picky. Nope. And you can double dip in other Triple, podcasts. Triple, quadruple, or, yeah. Um, there's lots of contests. people knitting sweaters. I know there's a good ale knit along. There's just a big sweater knit along. So I'll finish them up post them and there will be a prize for the person with the most completed sweaters in this time period yes. posted pictures posted please that's a tongue twister but we haven't figured out that prize the other prizes yeah. are going to be um patterns sweater patterns and 14 a skeins of wool of yarn. that right there is a good prize yeah a sweater's worth yes and they are on sale right now and i'm like because <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have to wait to find out what color yeah. that you want the winner wants so there was something else I was going to mention no I don't remember must not have been important uh yeah Super Bowls this weekend my 49ers are not in it wah, wah. <laughs> but 
Um, Peyton Manning. Oh! Speaking of sports, Peyton Manning is one of my favorite players ever, so I'm really excited he's in it. Go, Peyton Manning! <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband, last night, I'm a big Yankees fan. I took Xavier to Yankee Stadium this past summer, and it was like a dream come true. It was fantastic. And last evening, my husband had some stupid business, better business bureau dinner thing, blah, blah, blah. And so he had time to kill between that and leaving, or leaving work and that, so he went to this store by them, and he found a card that has a swatch of a jersey that was worn in a game of Derek Jeter's. Really? It is fantastic. I was so excited. I'm like, Derek Jeter wins! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and it's all, you know, it's like triple sealed in this plastic, and I'm like, can I take it out? And he's like, uh, <laughs> I guess it's yours if you really want to. I'm like, I have to touch it. I just have to. <laughs> so I got it out and I touched it. It's just, I mean, the square is like this big, but just the thought of like that's something that he wore in a game. I was like, I'm like can I sniff it? And he's like, Why would you sniff it? I'm like, just in case. <laughs> but it's really cool. I thought it was really neat. He was going to save it for my birthday, but I convinced him that it didn't have to be a birthday gift. Right. <laughs> so it Why was really wait? neat. Yeah. I was going to bring it down and show it off on the podcast, but I forgot. I posted a picture of it on Instagram. Super cool okay. though. Not it's like four hundred and sixty one of five hundred. Like they take that one jersey and cut it up into wow. five hundred pieces. <laughs> wow. But it was really neat. I was like, I'm one of five hundred people who have a piece of their Jewish jersey. <laughs> and I my goal now is to someday whenever I go back to the stadium try and get him to sign it. Oh that would be fantastic. That would be cool really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a goal for life is to get Derek Jeter to sign his tiny little scrap of shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Have a great weekend. When we Absolutely. see you, it'll be February. Wow, February. I know. Time goes too fast. Uh, enjoy your Chinese New Year. We are having Chinese food for dinner. It just seemed appropriate. Yeah. And an excuse to have Chinese food for dinner. Right. <laughs> oh, and my phone's ringing. So on that note, happy knitting. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>